Hi, I'm Dr. David Kong with Urology Specialists of the Carolinas. Urinary tract infections, or UTIs, are responsible for more than 8 million visits to physicians' offices each year. Over the course of a lifetime, about 40% of women will get at least one UTI that causes symptoms. 12% of men will experience at least one UTI as well. An infection makes the lining of your bladder and urethra red and irritated, which may cause pain in your abdomen and pelvic area. You'll often have an urge to urinate more often, and you may feel some burning as urine comes out. Sometimes you may feel like you really need to go, but only produce a few drops. Other times you may lose control of your urine, which can also smell unpleasant or look cloudy when you have a UTI. UTIs are often caused by the large numbers of bacteria that live in the rectal area and on your skin. Bacteria may get into the urine starting in the urethra and then travel into the bladder, causing an infection. Women who make a habit of urinating after sexual intercourse may decrease the risk of urinary tract infection by flushing out any bacteria that were introduced during intercourse. A short course of antibiotics is usually prescribed to treat a UTI. If you're prone to getting these infections, sometimes taking a preventive dose of antibiotics after intercourse can help prevent one from forming. If you use spermicidal foam or a diaphragm, keep in mind that both of these birth control methods are known to increase the risk of UTIs in women. If you've gone through menopause, you might consider talking with your doctor about whether local topical estrogen replacement may help avoid recurrent UTIs. Other tips to avoid a UTI are to drink plenty of fluids, don't postpone urination, and intentionally take time to completely empty your bladder. You should also wipe from front to back to prevent bacteria around the anus from entering the vagina or urethra. If you have questions about urinary tract infections, we have answers. There's more information under patient education on our website. And please, don't hesitate to call if you need to discuss your symptoms so we can help you address this very uncomfortable condition.